Hey everyone, happy World Benzodiazepine Awareness Day. On this day, we celebrate the birthday of Heather Ashton. And in honor of her birthday, I want to give everyone a gift. That's a gift of healing. Now on this channel, that's generally what I attempt to do. I, I try to give people the resources and the knowledge they need that will empower them to heal from this kind of an injury. But this is going to be something different. Now, I've already actually given you recently some exercises that I do daily that have contributed to my healing, but this is something profound that I experienced in 2020 that really turned a, a corner for me, I guess I would say, in, in my healing. And I want to share this with everyone, so I'm going to do this in a way that is, is not religious in any way, but it is definitely spiritual and emotional. It's going to be a meditation that we're going to do together. And I hope that as you join me in this meditation, it will have as profound an impact on your healing as it has had for me. So let's get started. Take a few deep breaths in and out. And take another breath in. And out. Make sure that you're relaxed. If you need to close your eyes or prop yourself up with some pillows, do that. And now we're going to take another deep breath in and hold it for a few seconds. So in and hold. And tell yourself what your intention is for this meditation. Is it to heal? To see yourself be in a place of healing and peace. Feel that and then release your breath. And now you can just breathe normally as we go on through the rest of this meditation. Now I want you to go back to before this experience that you've had with this drug injury to a time before you were prescribed medications. Think back to a time before you experienced whatever trauma it is that led to getting on these drugs. Go back to a time where you were much younger. Go back to when you were born. Imagine yourself, see yourself. And no, go back even before that. You're sitting at a bus stop and you're waiting to come to earth. And you're so excited. You have a childlike joy because you know that this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity that you've willingly chosen to learn to become, to grow, expand, and learn how to become more divine. And as you're sitting there anticipating this journey, a fellow passenger joins you there on this bus stop bench, sits down next to you, and you greet each other and strike up a conversation. This person asks you, what do you want to learn when you go to Earth? You think about it for a long time, and you realize that one of the things that you really want to learn is unconditional forgiveness divine forgiveness. Well, how are you going to learn that? The other person asks. You stop and think and say, I don't know. I, I guess someone will have to do something that is so unforgivable to me so that I can have the opportunity to learn how to forgive. You look at that person and say, will you be that person? After a long pause, they look you in the eyes and say, yes, I'm willing to do that. And you tell them, thank you. Now, fast forward through your life, through all these experiences where you've had this opportunity to forgive people again and again and again. Let's just pick one. Pick one experience in your life that you feel contributed to where you are right now. 
and the pain that you might be experiencing. Who was that person? What was that situation? Can you picture it in your mind? Now, as you do, can you flip a switch to a light bulb that goes off in your mind? Where all of a sudden, this image that you're seeing is illuminated. And you can see how this contributed not only to pain that you might be experiencing, but also to something great that is contributing to you learning and growing and becoming a better person. An opportunity to forgive, to overcome, to gain new strength, new insight. What did you learn? What did that person and their actions teach you in your life? What is the good that has come from that? Now take a deep breath and tell that person thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this experience so I could learn this. Thank you. Now imagine moving along your journey to another part in your life. Someone else, something else that contributed to where you are, to the pain that you've experienced that has led to your situation in life right now. Who was that? Imagine them, hold them in your mind. Now flip that switch again. What is the light illuminating for you? What is it telling you that the purpose was for this person being in your life and what it is that they taught you? It's time to take another deep breath again. Hold this person in your mental arms and tell them thank you, sincerely thank you for being willing to be this in my life for me so I could learn this. Thank you. I forgive you. I love you. Now you can do this as many times as is necessary. So if you want to pause this meditation right now or move on to the end, feel free to do that. But now as we get to the end, I want to tell you about the experience I had with this. As I went through and greeted every person in my life, every situation that led to the suffering and the intense pain that I experienced, the last thing that I got to was the pharmaceutical industry. And that was by far the hardest for me to face because it was this entity, it wasn't a person, it was this monolith that I know has perpetuated so much evil and pain, dishonesty on the world. How could I find anything good in that? And as I asked in my heart for illumination and an understanding on how I could be grateful, I was given the answer. And that answer was that this industry has served the purpose of helping people to wake up, to disconnect from these corrupt systems that have ensnared us and enslaved us for so long. It is forcing people essentially to break away from that and say no more and to turn to their inner wisdom, to that higher power and to look inward now for that, the source of healing, for the source of truth and guidance. And that as vast and as broad as the reach of this pharmaceutical industry is, that is how great the enlightenment and healing is that can come from this if people choose to see, if people choose to wake up, 
to forgive, to let go, to find gratitude and love in their hearts, even in the most seemingly insurmountable of circumstances, and allow that higher power to lead them on to greater and more wonderful things than they had ever imagined in their lives before. So many of us, especially in the Western world, are so comfortable with our lives, comfortable in our delusion even, that it just might take something this poignant, this powerful, this painful to wake us up out of our deep, deep slumber. And that is what I have found is my truth. And that is how I found healing. There is forgiveness. There is more than enough love and gratitude to replace and fill all the void and darkness that was left behind by all of these unkind and dishonest acts that other people have inflicted on us because ultimately what they do does not determine our lives we choose for ourselves we always always have the choice to love into every situation I choose right now to love into this situation carry that with you as you go forward this day and every day from here on out, when something pops up that triggers the pain, the hurt, the rage against the pain and suffering that others have caused you, stop. Take a deep breath and say to yourself, I choose to love into this situation. I choose forgiveness. I choose gratitude. Thank you for providing me with this opportunity to learn this lesson even deeper and to grow even more and to heal because you will heal. I know this. Thank you for joining me today.